Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. How you doing, Laura? Hey, I'm good tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> We're all ready to go. And look, we've already got friends here. Michelle and Margaret and <sighs> Carolina Princess Sweet treats and pretties they were here like super early and then laura vimos was here really early and annette is here judy there's annette again russell there's carrie suzanne pam hey pam rita lots of people are still over at jeffrey's and barb's yeah That's we okay. were we were watching them like right up to the last minute right before we had to yeah. leave so yeah, they had a lot to get done in that little short amount of time. So we'll just welcome people when that, whenever they come on over, you guys uh, take care of us in the chat there and welcome people when they come in. There's Zeno. We got our bestie, Michelle. She's the welcome wagon. Yes. <laughs> hey, bad cat. Let's see. People are thumbs upping Laura Bemos. <laughs> hey, there's Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Yay. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all week. Us too, Patrick. That's so nice. Hey, Vinny, we looked for your package all week, but it hasn't, it hasn't arrived yet. So, we'll we're looking to, forward to it. We'll have to put that off till next week. Yep. Do you know what it is and you're not telling me? No, I'm not. Oh. I wouldn't tell you anyway, but I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Exciting. Yay, yay, yay. I'm trying to make sure I see Sorry, my glasses are glaring tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Helen. Hey, there's Katie. Hi, Katie. Yay. Hey, Nate. Lynn. Carrie. There's Shannon over at Facebook. Welcome. Happy Friday, somebody said. Yes. Amen to that. Hey, look, we've got a first timer. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. We like to have first timers. <laughs> That's always fun. Okay, cool. Well, welcome, everybody. So, as always, we'll start off by asking you guys, what are you drinking? There it is. We're, what are you drinking, Laura? Cheers to you. Look, we've got pretty glasses tonight. We do. I have the same thing as last week, Spellbound. It was really good. It's good, right? Yeah. I decided to stick with that for this week. I'm having a cab, <laughs> and we've got these really pretty glasses. Look, they've got little like designs on them. Maybe yours is easier to see with the white line. Yeah. Put that up there. <laughs> Those are pretty. Yeah, so I looked these up, Mary Beth, because I figured... Everybody would be interested to know what these are. They look like Fostoria at first, mm. but they're not. Um, because they're not that vintage. They're like from the 80s. Let, okay. me, let me read it to you on, on my phone. Oh, well, Laura's going to read it. <laughs> well, I just have to remember. Okay, so it's Cascade pa Pattern. Okay. And they are Bohemia. That's okay. the that's kind of like the brand Bohemia glass. Yeah. And they're from Czechoslovakia. Oh, nice. <laughs> they're lead crystal. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they are. Mom just got in a whole bunch of stuff, uh, a big shipment of stuff, and she got um, a whole set of that. So we're just sort of borrowing these for tonight. Cool. But then stay tuned because coming up we're going to have a really good video because she got us a whole bunch of cute stuff. Yeah, that's exciting. I haven't seen it yet. It's she awesome. She bid on some stuff for me again. and so Nice. Yeah. Cool. Vinny's having water. Let's see. Carrie's having a Coke Zero. We've got a Sprite. Water, party animal. That's right. <laughs> Ginger ale. Hey, Laura. There's Laura. Welcome. Sherry's having some iced tea. That sounds good. Sherry, do you drink it sweetened or non-sweetened? We have to know. Coke Zero, as usual. Laura, did you get all those kids to bed? <laughs> you were you were putting them to bed there a few minutes ago off of Jeffrey's sale. Hey, Rachel. Rachel's having an iced coffee. Yikes. Rachel. Okay. Ice strawberry watermelon. That sounds good. Yes. That sounds like it needs some vodka in it. That sounds great. <laughs> I have to work tomorrow, so just water. I understand. Laura has to work tomorrow, too, so you better take it easy. I, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. H2O. But then I'm on vacation for a week. It's exciting. Yes. <laughs> Pepsi for me. Kiwi's having some Coke. Nice. Coke in the red can. Jeffrey, almost done. More people to come. Cool. Zeno, you got to work tomorrow. You work in that sale tomorrow with George? Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm so bummed I have to work because I was going to come to that tomorrow. But Ola. Yeah. Ola, Edward. It's his fourth time here. <laughs> nice. If you insist, crack open a beer. <laughs> Nate, is it like 
five in the morning where you are? Right. Or what time is it? <laughs> I am drinking vino. Nice. Very fancy. Mid-century wasted. Jamie, you're always drinking something fancy, I think. <laughs> TGIF. Hey, Karen. Hi, Karen. I need to go get me a drink. Yeah, a little vintage me. Just, you know, join us. We've got some love for Sherry. It's so fun to have somebody to drink with if you're, like, sitting home alone, just watching some YouTube. You don't really feel like that you can, you know. Right. Do you ever drink when you're by yourself? No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Cat is having absolute on the rocks. Hmm. That is, that's hardcore. Hard, I'm, in, I'm impressed. <laughs> I can't hang with you. <laughs> is Mama Layman in the house? Oh, no. I, I think she's probably watching. Say hi to her, Vinny. Leave it up there for a minute. Mom loves that. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, sweet tea. Let's see. Let's see. Vodka. Yes. Let's see. Thanks to your mom for referring potential estates to George. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, cool. I think I did give her the number. I was like, she said, do you think it's okay if you give me George's number? And I was like, well, I think it's okay because I think it's on his business cards that he gave you. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> We've got some Pepsi on the rocks, pink lemonade. Sherry likes her tea to be sweetened. Milk with a bowl of cereal. That sounds good. <laughs> I love cereal. <laughs> What's your favorite cereal? Um... I like, now I like Rice Krispies, mm. but growing up, I think my favorite was Captain Crunch with the Crunch Berries. I like. Do you know they make all Crunch Berries now? No. That's Ooh. too much Crunch Berries. That's too much. I like Rice Krispies. I like to cut up bananas and put it in Rice Krispies, but my favorite is Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. Do you, but you don't like all the stuff they make with Cocoa Pebbles, like Cocoa Pebble treats, like Rice no, Krispies I don't think, treats and stuff like that? I don't think I would like that. Mm -hmm. I just like the Cocoa Pebbles <laughs> with milk. Let's see. Shannon's going all out. Shannon's got some water. It's all good. Hey, look. We talked a little vintage me into it. She's getting cranberry vodka. <laughs> yes. Nice. Let's see. Vodka martini. Diet Dr. Pepper. We've got lots of people drinking mm -hmm. lots of things. I can't even deal with all of it. So I'm going to remind you guys, don't go away because... Fat Bird 5 starts at 9.15. So we've got just a few minutes. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do first? Do you want to play a quick game first? Or do you want to show some of this content that we have? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know. Let's see. Um, let's just play a game. Okay. Let's see. I've got your book right there. Okay, everybody. So Mary, Mary Beth and I have this ongoing... Um, <laughs> debate on whether or not we're keeping score. Okay, so you guys keep up with your own score at but home. But just keep up with your own score because I think it's fun even when other people don't. <laughs> okay, so you might get a surprise if you're the winner at the end. I don't know. Are they going to get the points if they do match me or they do not match me? What would you guys rather do? Do you want to match Mary Beth or put something different than her? Hey, do there's you, Misty. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. Do you want points if you match Mary Beth? <laughs> Michelle says she already has 8,000 No, points. you don't. <laughs> you have negative 8,000 points. Okay. So we'll just pick. Let's just, okay, they get the points if they match me. Okay. Okay. Not if they don't. Correct. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> this is always just riveting. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura says that Spike hears us and perked right up. <laughs> Name something that people do when they're bored at work. <laughs> Name something you do if you're bored at work. Okay. Asphalt Gypsy. She just heard about us. Thanks. Hey, I should have put you up on the screen. Mary Beth's writing. Hang on. No, I missed you. Watch Lawrence. Nice. Okay. All right, hang on. Are you ready? I'm ready. Because I, I think we're already getting answers. Yeah, we are. So I think that we can do it. Okay. Okay, do you want to reveal yours first? Yeah. Okay, you first. Well, no, let me read some of these first. Okay. Sleep. Shop. <laughs> That's very naughty. <laughs> Go on Facebook. <laughs> Text. Pick their noses. Play on their phone. Shop online. Tweet. Surf the web, 
play games, phones, watch YouTube, watch live sales, watch Fat Bird Finds. Oh, nice. you get an extra 10 points for that. <laughs> watch YouTube, look at the internet, play solitaire, shop online, play games, eat a snack, play solitaire, shop online, shop, play go solitaire. online, <laughs> like YouTube or Facebook. <laughs> Carrie, that's so funny. That's fantastic. Carrie, you're one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> Call someone, call someone, go on Instagram, go on eBay, Facebook, offer up, online games, pick their fingernails, hey, watch Stephanie. online auction, text friends, play games on the internet, surf the internet, online genealogy. That's probably what Nikki would do. Go to the bathroom for a long time. <laughs> Crack jokes, prank your coworkers, um, watch Fat Bird Finds, her Yay, and Jade, Jade Moon, welcome. Watch YouTube. I'm retired. I forget. I'm here. Yes, I'm new. Dating app. Call a friend. Oh, okay. dating app. That's probably a good one. Lots of, lots and lots of good answers. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, what do people do at work before the internet was they were bored? Ah, uh, you said white slides. Yeah. Sales on YouTube. Yeah. All right. You get, now what do they get? You well, get how many like, points? You get like 25 points if you match Mary Beth. 25 points if you match me. Okay. And Here's the rest of the points. This is probably an old game <laughs> because the internet's not on here. So good thing you said it. Okay. okay. We would have a riot. Okay. Listen to music. 54 points. Okay. Watch TV. 19. Sweat. Sweat. <laughs> That's what it says, right? Yeah. Re no. You're reading the wrong answers. <laughs> Already, Laura. It's okay. You can still have your points. Laura, that was the wrong answers. This oh, one. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> you get an additional five. <laughs> no, you get an additional twenty points if you said live sales. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, surf the internet. Thirty-four points. Computer games. Nineteen points. Talk or gossip. Twelve points. Personal phone calls. Ten points. Play on the computer, seven points. Sleep, <laughs> four points. Doodle, three points. You doodle. Yeah. And read, three points. Nobody said poop or <laughs> go to the bathroom for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I was reading the wrong question. <laughs> oh Vinny, my God. Vinny, thank you so much. You're so sweet. We appreciate that a lot. Vinny. That's very, very You're sweet. so sweet. Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Laura started reading that. I was like, Laura, I don't think so. I was reading. <laughs> I should have to drink for that, right? Yes. I was reading um, what people do when they're jogging on a treadmill. Well, that <laughs> makes more sense. Let's do one more quick one. Let's okay. do just a really quick one. Okay. And, and then we'll do the Fat Bird Five. Okay. I'll get it right this time. Okay. We'll see. Name an item that would be hard to steal from a hotel. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. Name an item that would be hard to steal from a hotel. <laughs> yes. That's my I'm favorite. not going to live that down. No, never. It's my favorite thing. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. <laughs> I'm just going to read a, a few of these real quick. Bed. That's a good one. The toilet. Bed. Bed. TV. Oh, Zeno. I saw that. He said, Zeno said, nobody said crochet in Afghan. That's true. They missed the opportunity, didn't they, Zeno? Michelle, TV. Towels. A lamp. TV. Bed. Bed spread. Bed. TV. Bed. Oh, lots the of... The pool boy. So much answers. TV. <laughs> the TV. Coffee maker. Lamp. The bed. What does the $5 mean? That was so sweet. Vinny gave us a little super chat. That was so nice. Hi, Dina. Lamp, TV, the TV, pillow, mini fridge. Good one. Okay, so it's a lot a lot of the same answers. I'm trying to scroll through and see if I see anything different. The pool boy. <laughs> the uncomforter. I saw a chair. A desk clerk. The desk clerk. <laughs> rolling luggage. Okay, I said TV. All right. So if you ans if you got the same as me, you get an extra 20 points. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm reading ahead of you on the chat again. You always do that. 
Okay. So, Mary Beth, your answer was TV? Yes. So, they get an extra 25 points for that? Mm -hmm. And it was the number one answer. Mm. 44 points. 44 points. That's right. Plus 25. I know. Look at you getting the top answer. I'm telling you. The bed was next, 33 points. The bedding itself, seven points. A picture or a painting, four points. And the rest of these are two points apiece for the chair, a pillow, the tub, and the shower. The toilet didn't make it on here. <laughs> My mom is saying hi to Michelle. Um, hi, Rhonda. Michelle, Rhonda, where are you at? She says, I'm in the market for a pool boy, but I don't have a pool. <laughs> Kat, uh, Kat says, Sherry, the pool boy, can we be friends? <laughs> okay, guys. Guess what time it is, Laura. What time is it? It's time for the Fat Bird Five. Yay! So if you're new to flipping and sipping, so every Friday night we sell five items um, on our show, on our little Fat Flipping and Sipping. So we have five items ready to sell. And so here are the rules. We will show you an item. We will give that item a price and an item number. The very first person to type in the item number in the chat on our end, the very first number that we see on our end will be the winner of the item. If you win the item, we will let you know. All you have to do is email us your name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. That's all you have to do. That's it. It's easy. We do invoices on Sunday evenings, mm -hmm. and we hope to get those shipped out early next week. Yep. Did I cover it all? You got it all. Great. Great job. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay. Yay, Fat Bird Five. So do you want to just jump right into it? Yep. This wine is really good. Is I'm yours gonna, good? I'm going to have to try yours. It's pretty good. I don't think I'll like it. I don't like red. Here, I'll hold these up. Okay. Okay. Item number, well, it's not the item number, but it's the <laughs> first item. Okay, so that is a Francoma Creamer. Okay. So we got that at George's. Yes. Zeno might recognize this piece. Nicely marked on the bottom there. It is prairie green Mayan Aztec. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So we got the color and the pattern that we can give you. George told me that this was an early Frank Oma piece. It's pretty. Look at that. I love that glaze. Yeah, I like it. I'm surprised you're not keeping that. I know. <laughs> I really like little we things can't like keep this. Everything. That's right. If we kept everything, it would be a disaster. Okay. So it does it, it's just the creamer by itself. And so it's nine dollars. Okay, nine dollars and it's number thirty-four. Nine dollars, number thirty-four. Yeah, I like little things like that, Laura. I know you're a sucker for a pitcher. I love a good pitcher <laughs> or a creamer. It's just I don't know. I'm just kind of attracted to those things. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Just making sure that I see. Oh, and I do want to remind you guys that. We are streaming to Facebook as well. So if you're on Facebook, you probably don't see YouTubers' comments. That's right. If you're on YouTube, you don't see Facebook's comments. So we're going by the first comment that comes through on StreamYard, which is what we're using. So they come in together, and so we're using the first person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got Blue Feather Mercantile. Hey! Congratulations, yeah, you right. have the Francoma Creamer. And it's George. Greg. Greg. Gosh, it was a G. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. Okay. So the next thing we have are these. These are so cute. Okay. You show these while I write down Greg's okay. name here. Next, salt and pepper. These are so cute. Yeah. They're the little milk glass ones. Now, I do want to let you know that the lids have some damage. The lids are not in super good shape. No. Nope. <laughs> the lids are pretty beat up. Yeah. So that was that lid, and here's this lid. But I don't see any damage to the salt and pepper shakers themselves. The damage really is just on the lids. Yeah, I didn't see the damage on the lids before I just before I almost you know <laughs> had a wrestling match over them with the lady at the auction. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, those are from my little story from the auction house. Okay. Yeah. So the price reflects that though. We just want eleven dollars for those, but those are so cute. Those would be just so cute in your little kitchen displays. I think so too. All right. Eleven dollars number fifty seven. Eleven dollars number fifty seven. Somebody said ditch the lids and put air plants in them. That's right. That's Mist what Misty would did do. Did Misty say that? No, it was, it was Jamie. <laughs> it's entry wasted. <laughs> it's exactly what Misty would say. <laughs> yeah, if you missed that story, Laura almost got in a fight over those. So that was fun. Can you imagine that? <laughs> okay, so the first person that I saw come through on my end is Jill. Okay. Hi. Thanks, Jill. Thanks so much, Jill. You are the winner of the salt and pepper shakers. They are coming your way. Okay, so next we've got a two for one. Two for one. <laughs> two cute little vintage pieces. Yes. So the first one is this little, is this a creamer as well? Um, I don't know. It's a little bit bigger than that. So it's that's kind of like you would have like your milk for your cereal. Right. Or yeah, I guess it could be for syrup, but, but probably it's a little, just a little milk pitcher, but not exactly a creamer. Really. Right. And it's just a little handmade piece. Jenny oh. made this. <laughs> Jenny in 1984. <laughs> she did. Good job, Jenny. Jenny in 1984. There's some of those look like Is anybody going to make a comment? I'm going to have to tell people to drink. What? <laughs> I just wondered if anybody's going to comment on what they were doing in 1984. Oh, I don't know. So you get that item and you get this little green divided dish as well. So it's a two for one. Zeno so, you know, says, didn't you show that last week? Yeah, I think that was probably part of the haul. Yeah. 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 So the little tiny pitcher and the yeah, little I green. I don't know what pattern that is. Do you, Mary Beth? I don't. But it's, I think it's really pretty. I do too. It's like a little relish dish, you know, it's mm -hmm. divided. And you, okay. Yep. <laughs> two All right. One. So $11 for the two of them. $11, number 62. $11, number 62. I like this comment. Oh, no, not that one. Hold on. It shifted. Bless Jenny. Oh, <laughs> bless Jenny. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cute. Jenny did a pretty good job. <laughs> Oh, now people are going to comment what they were doing in 1984. <laughs> Do you want to know what I was doing? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jamie's already covered that for you. She said, uh, I was one. I was probably not even walking. Are Me too. Is that what she said? Me too, Jamie. Uh, okay. So let me just double check. Make sure I didn't miss any numbers coming in. Greg, I've got you again. Blue Feather Mercantile. Oh, boy. All right. Way to go, Greg. Thanks, Greg. What do you want to do next? Am I going to keep going in order or you want to pick what's next? No, you can pick. Okay. This was showed in one of our videos. This one's really pretty. Right. Here, I'll hold it for you. Okay. This was from the video where Mary Beth was excited about everything. And I kind <laughs> of impressed her with my little estate haul. But it really was nice. The items really are nice. So this what? is a this is Westmoreland. Westmoreland. And it's vintage. It's 50s to 60s. I don't know which, but right in that time frame somewhere. The little feet are like little sea serpents, which are really cool. Look at all the shells. Isn't that, isn't that yeah. pretty? But we do want to be transparent about this item. And the top, the lid, has got some damage on the top, guys. Okay? People were a little rough when they were putting their lid on the candy dish. Plus, the bottom piece on the inside has a little nick right there. But when you shut the item, when you put the lid on the bowl, you can't see it. Okay? So the damage is not visible with the lid on. Right. But it is there. So it's definitely there on the underside of that lid and a little nick right here on the inside of that bowl. Right. So this piece is actually very valuable. I mean, pretty valuable if it's not damaged. Yeah. So we saw these listed on eBay for like one, one was 70 and one was 80. 
Right. Uh, some of the sold are not, not that much, but um, I think, you know, there's just a big, there's always a big range in what's listed and what's sold. But, you know, it probably averages to be worth 50 or $60 with no damage. And so, what did you call this satin glass? Yes. It has a very interesting feel to it. And it's, uh, the color is blue mist. Mm -hmm. So they make like a cobalt blue color too, but this one's the blue mist. So it's like a teal. It's a really pretty, like almost like Tiffany blue, you know? Right. And I think they call the pattern Argonaut. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. With all cool. the shells and everything. So anyway, okay. It's $21. Okay, so it's just got that little bit of damage around the inside lids, but it doesn't show from the outside. Mm -hmm. So I think it's still cute, a really cute display piece. So it's $21, and it's number 45. Number 45. Zeno, great story. What's Zeno's story? We missed it. Oh. That lid clinking sound used to make my grandparents' guinea pig squeal because his <laughs> treats were in there. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Laura's daughter, Megan, has guinea pigs. And when you, like, open a bag of lettuce or make a sound that's like a crinkle, <laughs> like, that would be lettuce, they go nuts. You know, when I'm packing stuff up and I do the tape gun, they, <laughs> they go bananas with the tape gun because it sounds like that. <laughs> okay, what was the number on that? Was it number 45? It was. I just wanted to make sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the first person that I have on my end is... Fab Finds Fairy. Yay. You are the winner. Thanks, Fab Finds Fairy. Oh, Thank that's you. hard to say. Hey, we like that because it's like Fat Bird Finds. Exactly. Fab, Fab Finds Fairy. <laughs> Great. Do we, is that, what was that it? No, one more. One more? Yep. What is it? The fifth piece we have here. Oh, she was on our video. She was on our other video. Yes. She's from our little um, yard sale video. Yes. So she looks kind of like Cinderella. Uh oh, she's got a glare. Hey, Nikki. Yes. Would you mind to turn that light down? It's it's pretty bright on her, actually. Yeah, and then I'll have you turn it back up. They were, that's perfect. Spike, do you want a treat? <laughs> Laura said, don't, don't mention treats. Spike <laughs> gets excited. Sorry, we won't mention treats anymore. So, yeah, this is a planter. She kind of looks like Cinderella mm -hmm. a little bit. There's still the, uh, what do you call that, the foam? Mm-hmm. What floral you, foam. Floral foam. I couldn't think of that word. The floral foam is still in there. Um, she is marked Inesco. She has her little sticker. Oh, good job. You can see that pretty good there. But yeah, she's looks like she's late. She looks <laughs> like she's really worried about something though, right? She. I don't know. I don't think she is Cinderella, but she looks like Cinderella. And as far as I can see, you know, usually they've got missing little, some little missing fingers or something like that. I don't see anything wrong with her fingers. Correct. Yeah. Somebody, I saw somebody say that it looks kind of like Lucille Ball. It does a little bit. That's so, yeah. Cute. But, yeah, she's a planter. No chips or cracks that I have seen or felt. Okay. And I think she's adorable, but I looked at comps, and she's just selling for right about in the $10 range, mm -hmm. $10 or $11 range. So that's what we're going to sell her for, $10. $10. $10, number 91. $10, number 91. Thanks, Nikki. Oh, Sleeping Beauty. She does look like Sleeping Beauty. Maybe down one more. Do you know what Perfect. Sleeping Beauty's name is? Aurora. Oh, you did know. Well, I'm good at stuff. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, that was number 91, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure. Oh, look, it's Leandra and Tom. Welcome. Hi, Leandra and Tom. Okay, I've got Terry Ann's Eclectic This and That. All right. Hey, Terry Ann. Thank you. Yay. Thanks, everybody. That was fun. We did it. We did it. It was the Fat Bird Five. Can we just tell everybody that, um, you know, last week we did the mystery box. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey put that on Instagram, if you guys are interested in seeing what was in the box. Yeah, he if, did. If you didn't see it on Instagram, he made a really cute little post about it. It, it all looked really festive and pretty out there in <laughs> yeah, this it was picture. <laughs> Okay, I have a party trick here in a minute if you want to see it. Oh, I, yes. It's going to be really exciting. Yes. Hey, look, I saw I saw a comment. What? Laura, do you have a mm -hmm. bonus elephant? Oh, I was wondering if anybody would ask about the <laughs> bonus elephant. Do you have one? I don't know. Do you think anybody wants a bonus elephant? Does anybody want a bonus <laughs> elephant? Probably not. <laughs> do you have one? Yes, I have one. Do you? No kidding? Yes. 
Laura has an elephant. I have to put the banner back up. <laughs> it's still the it's still happening. What do you have? Wait, wait, it's a bonus elephant. <laughs> okay. This is just a little bonus elephant. Don't worry, we're on the lookout for future bonus elephants. Everywhere we go, we are now on the lookout. We're like, okay, do this are any elephants here that we can find? <laughs> but we did have this little guy. Oh, he has a, or she has a baby. Yeah. Look, <laughs> she has a little baby with her and both of their trunks are up. So that's good luck, right? Right. Look, they're so happy. Laura taught me that, that if your elephant <laughs> has its trunk up, that that's good luck. Oh, that baby. They're so cute. So these are marked, they're home co. Um, the sticker is not there anymore, but that little mark, that's a home co mark. I think that's really cute. It's not super big. Yeah, and I think, um, we'll just give them a bargain. Let's just do like $8. $8 on the bonus elephant. Okay, $8. And he, he can be number 87. 87. Good job, Laura. You surprised me. I didn't <laughs> think you had one this time. You never know about me. Laura is always just <laughs> pulling stuff out. It's great. Cute. Love it. That was so fun. Yay. Yeah, I think next week we're going to do another bonus uh, another bonus box. Or mystery, mystery box. Mystery box. Yes, we're going to do another mystery box next week. And we have a four-person sale coming up on Patrick's channel. So that's Trusty Hucks for Mercantile. And that is on Thursday the 20th. And we're going to do a mystery box on that sale as well. Yes. Is that exciting? It's pretty exciting because I want to do them all the time. I I just I get a big kick out of the mystery box thing. You, I'm so excited that people liked it. <laughs> but I'm just laughing at you. Oh, I, I'm all about it, right? Yes. <laughs> you love it. That means if we can sell mystery boxes, that means I can buy more big mystery boxes exactly. to, to parcel out. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the winner, I've got Greg again, Blue Feather Mercantile. Greg, you are the big winner. You're making it easy on me shipping this week. That's right. <laughs> thanks so much. So thanks, everybody. And yes, I saw a comment that says it's the sale over. So yeah. That's going to conclude the sale. We only do five items on Friday nights, and sometimes we have a bonus elephant. That's right. <laughs> we, yeah, just for you guys that are just joining us, we just, we picked Friday night, and we picked a really relaxed, casual atmosphere because we want to talk to you guys and, right. and everything, but, um, you know, it's nice to sell a few pieces, too, because everybody enjoys that, too. Yeah. But we trail after Jeffrey and he does a huge sale. So we didn't want to do too much selling. Right. You know. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for my party trick? I'm ready. Okay. This is exciting. So I don't know if, if you guys saw this or not, but don't leave because this is really cool. Yeah. Okay. So this is the dragon wear that we did a video on a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous dragon wear. This is a sake container, vessel, whatever, that's got the dragon on there. On the cups, the little cups that go with it, you can turn it upside down and look through a light and see the little geisha girl. That's right. Which is awesome. I was very impressed. I think you guys, everybody loved that video. That video got a lot of views, Mary Beth. Yes. So we had a commenter say, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. I don't remember the commenter. I'm sorry. But the commenter said that when you pour sake, or liquid out of this vessel that this bird whistles. <laughs> that is so fantastic. I said, surely that can't be true. I was like, no way. And then I asked my mom, I said, mom, have you ever heard of that? She goes, nope. I've never heard of that. I've never, ever, ever heard of that. I could, I, I would have bet you a million dollars that would not have happened. Well, I'm going to try it. Okay. I don't have sake in here. There's water in here. But we're going to try it. And I'm going to put this really close. To yeah, my, because you're going to have to listen really hard. I'm going to put this really close to my computer so hopefully you guys can hear. Are you ready? Um, I can't wait. What if it doesn't work? It's going to work. I mean, okay. It's worked before. Here I go. <laughs> Here I go. Ready? Oh, your computer. I'm not going to spill it. Ugh. I've got to get it as close to the mic as possible. <laughs> you're scaring me. Should I hold like plastic down? I'm I'm gonna live dangerously. Oh God! Here we go. <laughs> Shh! Be quiet. D 
Did you hear it? Did you guys hear it? It's like a tea kettle. If if they're gonna say it, we didn't hear it, then oh, I'm gonna be really be sad. Bummer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me know. Did you hear it? <laughs> but yeah, there's this little cute little bird here on the sake vessel, and and he whistles when you pour the liquid out. Yeah, somebody heard it. Thank oh, God. Good. <laughs> Ooh. So talk about easily amused. Oh, I'm just, that's maybe one of the best things, the best surprise things that I've ever seen. As somebody just said, can Dragonware get any cooler? I know, right? right? <laughs> so as if that wasn't cool enough, let me see if I can get one of those um, cups really quick. Okay. She's going to go find a cup to show you guys in case you missed it. Michelle said you have to keep it. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's so cool. Everybody's going to start looking for Dragonware. So here are the little cups that go with it. And on in the bottom, I, Nikki, can you get me a flashlight? A regular flashlight? Yeah. The purple one's over there. Oh, let's see. <laughs> You're having technical It's hard to see. There, You can kind of uh, see that. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see that geisha girl in, in the in the back. It's kind of hard. I don't think it's going to do it. But anyway, yeah, it. they can kind of see it. Let me hold it like this. And no, wait. Shine it. It's okay. They can kind of see it. So you can kind of see her outline in the bottom of the cup, which is really cool. If you put it up to a light and look through it, it's incredible. It's incredible. It really is. Go back and watch our video with the Dragonware. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm so easily amused. Are amused. we going to sell the Dragonware? Like on eBay or Patrick's sale or I think we probably keep it. <laughs> we might keep it for a little while, but oh, right. I think eventually we'll, we're probably going to put that on eBay to try to get the most, the most bang for our buck. Right. What do you see? Why are you laughing? I'm just, some of our viewers are quite funny. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> if they're watching us, they have to be easily amused. I know. Right. <laughs> Terry Ann says, I oh, love Dragonware even more. I know. Me, Me too. too. <laughs> I have some dragon wear and I flipped when I saw the geisha. Me too. Laura showed it to me. I'm like, wow. I know. I don't know why I don't get these things on camera. <laughs> My reaction? Yes. Yeah, we need to do reaction videos. Yeah, next time. Okay, hot tip. I've already told you this, but I'm going to tell them. My mom and Guy went back to the yard sale that had that cool stuff, that had the dragon wear and... The planter, the little girl planter we sold tonight, and the beaded purse from that video, and they got me more stuff. I'm so excited. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, that Dragonware guys came out of a yard sale. They also got me some paint by numbers there. That's cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Ah, okay, guys, I have I have something to say. <laughs> we have some stuff over here. We have we have a purpose. We have a little a little haul. I don't know if you can beat the Dragonware. It's pretty good demo there. It's that was a, pretty awesome. It's a pretty good party trick. <laughs> Let's see. This is what on earth? What does this say? MB. When the pig runs slower, let the arrows fly. The sin lies bolder. The squirm and the Satan you got your thumb. Satan. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh, is that an Alice in Chains song? Yes, <laughs> you got it. That's fun. Nate says the geisha in the bottom is a technique called a yeah lithopane. I think is what you meant to write. Yeah, no, it was just it was just a typo, but yeah, lithopane. Yes. Christy says I bought my dragonware to sell about seven years ago, and I still haven't sold it. <laughs> yeah, Katie, it's, that's gonna be that's one of the coolest things I think we've ever gotten. And that's going to be hard to get rid of. Yes. Actually. We're going to have to keep that for a while, maybe. Okay. We have. Kate, a... Oh, and my Katie says, I love the dragon. Yes. <laughs> me too. We have a little haul. This Yay. is exciting. So here's a little basket. But what's in the basket is super cute. Oh, uh, you went straight for those, didn't you? These are really cute. A couple of them are damaged. I hate to tell you this. Yeah. These that are. Happened. We've got some swizzle sticks in here. And look. They're ducks. <laughs> oh, aren't they sweet? They're little mallards. Aren't they precious? A couple of them are, are not doing so well, Laura. 
Uh-oh. Yeah, like, look, he, he got told to shut his mouth. <laughs> he was told, to, you know, stop talking. And a couple of them were. He was, too. But, you know, a couple of them are still intact. I don't know. You know, if you didn't, you know, if you don't, like, get out the microscope or whatever. If you're like me, if you have your glasses on, you'll never know <laughs> that that little thing, you know, does not have a beak. Look what Nicole Especially said. Especially when you're drinking. <laughs> we love oh, you, Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> Those are adorable. So, did you know that uh, trusty Huckster Mercantile is doing having a deep dive about swizzle sticks? I didn't know that. Yeah, sometime in August. It's kind of it's not the next one, I don't think, but I think it's the one after that. Guys, if you find any swizzle sticks that have pink elephants on <laughs> pink pink elephants <laughs> on the top. Let me know. Wait, I, I'm going to help you out here. What? Oh, no. Zeno. <laughs> he went there, didn't he? <laughs> Debeaked. Oh. You guys are fun. I love our friends. So much fun. Yes. Yeah, so maybe you should keep those. Maybe. But I'm on the lookout for swizzle sticks that have pink elephants on the tips. So... If you find any, email me. I need to know. It's important. Here you go. If you get those, I'm going to like sell them for the bonus elephant. No. <laughs> Laura, what is this? Oh, you didn't take the pins out of here. You don't like the pins. You don't like jewelry. No. Okay. Not really. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is like, that? I don't know. He's he has cute. a little maker's mark on his on his I'm little tummy. Set you up for that one. What is this? He's so cute. Look at his little tail. <laughs> Bless you, Nikki. I guess that's somebody's little. He's a bank home project. Yes, <laughs> he's got a little cork here in his snout, and he's a piggy bank. <laughs> Bless you, corky pig. Corky pig. <laughs> Dina says. Oh, no, it shifted, of course. Of course it did. If you're seeing pink elephants, you may be drunk. Yes. <laughs> it's like that whole Dumbo montage. Do you ever watch Dumbo? <laughs> yes, I'm just laughing. Michelle said, bless you, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> so, I don't know about that, Laura. That's interesting. What about, what, that did, you, what did you say about Dumbo? The pink elephant montage, when he drinks the, the whatever out of that bucket. Oh, gosh, Dumbo's sad. <laughs> Dumbo is really sad. <laughs> It's really sad. What is this? What's in this box? Oh, this is pretty cool. It's in its original box. Yes, I'm going to have to do some research on that because it's always virgin wool. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, Pendleton is a bit, it's a really good brand name. Okay. Of wool throws. I'm and not going to get this out. And everything like that. But how often do you ever see anything like that in the actual box? That's cool. I mean, that looks like a box from, you know, department stores in my, my childhood, which, you know, early 70s. Yes. That's cool. That's good. I saw somebody say, are you, did you guys sell that dragon teapot? No, we didn't. Mm -hmm. um, we might put that on eBay coming up. We're going to think about it. <laughs> it's still it's still one of those really new finds for us, and we're still excited about it. I just can't believe it whistles. I can't believe it was in a yard sale. We've got to go look up that viewer. That's She's my new favorite person, that she knew that. So, yeah, this is pretty. It feels, it feels really nice, and it's in its original package. Yes. Yeah, and look, it has, oh, it's not a, there's not a price. But it's got the, you know, it's still got the old department store tags on it. Yeah. I think that's so cool. But I bet you that's kind of valuable. You think? Mm hmm I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. Look at this little Does anybody game. know? Does anybody know if that's valuable or Nobody not? Nobody knows. Nikki, <laughs> when you get a minute, you could top me off. Yeah, I'm pointing when you've got down nothing. Thanks. <laughs> oh, good. We can show an Afghan. We have an Afghan. This one is so festive. It's really small, though. It's only, like, the size of your lap, basically. It's very little. I know, but aren't those colors fantastic? Yeah. I just love that. Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living sold pillows the other day, not too long ago, that would have been really cute with this. Yes. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Okay, I will be looking on eBay. Yay, good. 
so sad for the wool that it's a virgin. Is that why it's sad? <laughs> Vintage collectibles. I'm back. Did I miss all the games? No, you didn't. We only played two and it, it went really quickly. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to play some more games here in just a minute. Okay, wait. Maybe we should play now for Kilroy. Did you sell that cool plate? I wonder what plate. I don't know. Maybe you're talking about the um, the Vaseline glass, the, the stretch glass. Oh, from last week? If oh, from the video? Yeah. If you're talking about, if you're talking about the stretch glass Vaseline glass, then no. We have not sold that yet. We might sell it. We might put it on eBay. We might sell it during, during Patrick's sale. We haven't decided yet. Yeah. But keep watching our eBay store. You never know what's going to be on there. Let's see what Vinny said there. We finally won Vinny over on an Afghan. <laughs> and it's so little, Vinny. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's a good one. Seriously, what does virgin wool mean? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I, I, I guess we need to look that up. <laughs> I've never really thought about it that much. I've always heard that, but I never really thought about it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else I've got. Okay. What's this? Is Are these dominoes? No, it's cr cribbage. Mm -hmm. What is cribbage? It's like, I don't know. I've never played that before. This is interesting. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, I just thought the box was kind of cool. Oh, 1968. It has a little hideaway here for these pegs. I guess the game pieces. I thought you were going to spill them out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about this. Oh, Michelle says cribbage is big up here. It's a card game. Okay. Michelle, game. we'll have to play cribbage sometime. You'll have to teach me how to play. Super old people game. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then Nate says, I love cribbage. <laughs> you have to drink. All of you, everybody take a drink. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about cribbage. This is uh, this is not my jam, I don't think. It's a game. Oh, no. It's a card game, but that's to keep score of the card game. Oh, interesting. Awesome. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cribbage people here. N Nesting Haven, Nicole. Cribbage is Maine's favorite pastime. Everybody plays. Oh, okay. So they play like, you play high nine. We play a lot of cards <laughs> down here. We're big. I'm, I come from a big card family. We're always playing cards. That's what they're saying. This is a card game. I don't understand. Oh, but it's got a game board with it. But you just keep score with it. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you play cards. It takes forever to play. Oh. Oh, Michelle says it's big up here, but she doesn't know how to play. Well, that's Michelle. not helpful. <laughs> you didn't watch the Domino's deep dive. I did. I was actually in the car, was driving, and <laughs> I was kind of like trying to listen as I was driving. So Laura that was Did you talk about cribbage on there? I didn't watch it all. Maybe, I guess I missed maybe, that part. Maybe she did. I was in the car. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, this is pretty. I'm going to save that for later. <laughs> she said, oh, this is pretty, and now you don't get to see it. What are those? These um, are horrible. <laughs> I really. <laughs> why did you pull those out of there? Well, because they're in this box. <laughs> what are these? They're just little party decoration plates, and then you, like, put a piece of cake on there. These are horrible. <laughs> You, you just take those away. Great. I bought these for you. <laughs> I, I'm great. I love them. <laughs> They're so good. Okay. Back up the comments. Nate and I answered your wool questions. LOL. Okay. Hold on. Back up the comments. Bad cat. Why don't you just tell us again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wait. She said that again. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm oh, looking. you're not going to find it. It means the first shearing of a lamb. Is that true? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't know that. I, I Vir would assume. Virgin wool is the wool taken from a lamb's first shearing. Well, that makes me sad. Why? I don't know. Just because they... <laughs> Why would it be sad? I don't know. Have you ever seen a, a, a sheep be sheared? It's just like grooming a dog. I know, but then they look so naked. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm just... I'm kidding. It's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay. I don't know what this is. Mother. 
Okay, so it's like a it's it's a it's a pillow case, right? Hang I don't on. know. Hang on, let me look. That's what they usually are. Yeah, it's a pillowcase. And so they're like, um, you guys help me out. <laughs> Normally they're like, <laughs> is it? <laughs> That's my favorite. I love you guys. You guys are all so good. <laughs> yeah, you haven't said that tonight yet. I don't think so. So what does this one say? It's just a haircut. Oh, yeah, look. They're souvenirs. Uh, and people, the guys in the military would send them home. Oh, Really? As souvenirs from their battalion or their oh. uh, whatever. Okay. Ah. That's cool. So sometimes those are a little bit collectible. Great. So I think that's cute. Nice. I'm still trying to see if you could put a pillow in there. I think you can. What else you got over there? A picture. Oh, I like that. I think that's pretty. It's good. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> so yeah, it's it's not marked or anything, but it's heavy. I like that. I just like the way that looks. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other pretty things in here. Let me grab them. Okay. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Carrie said your face said it all when you saw the cake decorations. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Spike is getting some treats. You are really something. Why? <laughs> Don't be mean to me. Look. Oh, um, he's pretty. He shows up pretty. Where did you get him? That's another yard sale find. Yard sale. Mm-hmm. His face is so flat. Do you think we could ever ship him without breaking that beak? Maybe. We'll have to just be very careful. Maybe this could be a live sale item one of these weeks. I think oh, he's cute. He's pretty. I love that color blue. Yes, I agree. So polder. Swan boat. Yes. I like it. Cute. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the last thing. Okay. Interesting. Wow. What is she going to pull out of there? I don't remember having anything else. Oh, Michelle said I sold a green one like that yesterday. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It's like they were going to make one of those swans and then they just made a basket. Yeah. It's like they were going to make a swan and then they're like, nah. Good night, Zeno. I don't really know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> this is, this, this is interesting in that it's like, it's like they just completely zoned out out of what they were doing. And so they're, they started with one thing and then it totally ended up something else. And now it's just kind of like an uh-oh. <laughs> But look how pretty the little stripes and everything are really pretty around the edges. The Yeah, this part is gorgeous. But this part is just kind of... I keep looking at it and looking at it and I'm like, like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that or if I don't. The swan's head got <laughs> stuck in its butt. That's just bizarre. <laughs> Arkansas glass? Cool. And then I got some LOLs. Yes. yes. Nate thinks it's fabulous. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like the Arkansas glass. Swans, it does, you know. And then they made a basket. It does. Okay, that was that. That's it for our little our uh, content. Are you sad? Yeah. Well, now we can play a game. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> More points for everybody. More points. What platforms do you sell on? Well, we have an eBay store. Um, we're not great at eBay because we don't always get things up as quickly as we wish we did. We both have full-time jobs. So this is just kind of a side hustle slash hobby slash <laughs> just something to do for us. So it's just kind of fun. So we do sell things every Friday night here on YouTube. Yeah. And the live sales have kind of sidetracked our eBay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our, our motivation to get stuff on eBay, but we're yes. going to do better. We are. We have plans to get better at eBay. Yes. Oh, oh, and also uh, our email. So we put out videos every Tuesday. And then, of course, we do this every Friday. So people email us all the time and they're like, hey, I saw blank in your video. You know, what are you selling that for? And so we sell a lot just via email. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so our email is fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. So we're always open and love to get emails from our viewers and would love to shoot your price on on whatever 
you see that you like. Yeah, just send us an email. We do that a lot. That would be a great eBay store name, Side Hustle. <laughs> that would be. That would be great. You need to get on that, Carrie. Yeah, take that and run with it, Carrie. <laughs> okay, you have a game? Yes. We, we need to play another round. I need to redeem myself. We've got to play one more round of Family Feud. I'm ready. Okay. I'm excited. Okay, everybody. Ready to make some more points? Yes. Here we go. You need to, let's see, name... Oh, this is good. Name one word that people use to describe a newborn baby. Hmm. One word. One word mm -hmm. to describe a newborn baby. Yes. If you match me, you get an extra point. Hey, I see Gail Hill here in the crowd. So when we play our our, our other game, Gail's going to take the lead. Gail. Gail is so good. <laughs> She's a ringer. She's Vinny's upset. He's like, ugh. Okay. We need some Mad Gab. I'll switch to Mad Gab after this one, Vinny. You got Cute, it. Cute. Beautiful. Cute. Precious. Precious. Cute. Precious. Cute. Sweet. Precious. Precious, adorable, alien, precious, adorable, precious, <laughs> smelly, perfect, well, <laughs> icky, mistake, beautiful, <laughs> precious, 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 delicious, ugly, <laughs> sweet, delicious, oops, precious, <laughs> precious, deduction, <laughs> looks like my mailman, ah. <laughs> and adorable. Oh, adorable. And, we should we should know about adorable. And what is that? Did you put adorable? <laughs> no. I put <laughs> Did I spell that right? Yes. Precious. <laughs> I looked at it and it didn't look right. Precious. All right. Precious gets the extra 25 points. A lot of people said precious. You guys get extra you get an extra 25 points. It was not, however, the number one answer. Oh. The number one answer is cute. You get 42 points. Wow. Beautiful, 16, infant, that seems silly to me, infant, you get minus 15 if you put infant, <laughs> precious is nine, that's tacky, adorable is five, adorable should be the number one, answer. that's what I should have said, that's adorable, is it, small or tiny, two points, soft, two points, babies oh. are soft, well, Angel, one point. Okay. Okay. Nicole. Yes, 42 points. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Yeah. I, Michelle, after I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that's really, I can't believe I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. That's a tool. She, she missed out, Michelle. I had that all set up for her. She That just whoop, totally went right over her head. <sighs> I was trying to do the ESP and have her say that, and she, she didn't get it. You know what we should play next time? Hmm. We should play... Um, Oh gosh, what is it called? Pictionary. <laughs> like you should give me a word and I should draw it for everybody and everybody should guess what it is. Oh, that and then would be you great. can draw and oh, everybody no. can guess what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna draw. I am not gonna draw. We'll have to do it at the very end if I draw. At the very end? Yeah, when I've had several sips. <laughs> okay. That's what we're doing next week. Okay, Pictionary next week, y'all. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna forget. Next Friday is going to come around and we're going to be scattered as always <laughs> trying to get ready for our show. And then we're going to be like, what are we going to play? And Laura's going to be like, I don't know. Maybe we'll remember. You know what? We should play that. One time we got you a game where you have played Pictionary like virtually. Oh, that was cool. Have y'all ever played that? You like can airplay it to your TV and it's like a little wand and you kind of, you can kind of draw on it. It's, it's pretty neat. I wonder if we could do it to this. I don't think so. Oh. But anyway, Pictionary is a good idea. It's a, good it's a great idea. Thanks. Did you bring Mad Gab cards out here? No, but I can get them. I told you to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Vinny's waiting. <laughs> Vinny's waiting for this. We have to play Mad Gab because, number one, Vinny likes it. And, number two, I like to put the cards in as package choppers. There you go. But <laughs> Blue Feather Mercantile got almost everything, so we don't really have to do as many... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> as many mad guy cards we usually have to do. <laughs> Gail, are you ready? Come on, Gail. We're counting on you. Gail, let's see. Let's see how fast you can get these. 
<laughs> Who's going first? Y'all, somebody just said, where's Gina? I don't know where Gina is, but where's Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte ditched us. We lost her. Last week, Charlotte was kept asking us questions. She was like, <laughs> what yeah. is this? She's like, what, what is happening? What is this stream about? What are you guys doing? <laughs> We're like, we don't know. Charlotte. Yeah, and we had to, we kept having to explain to her, and she was so funny. And then we talked about all these celebrity sightings, and she, like, topped them all. Yeah, apparently she dated a serial killer. <laughs> and it was, we looked it up, it was true. Yeah. She well, left us. She sent us this adorable email, though. Charlotte needs to be here. I know. She sent us this really cute email about how much she loved it, and yeah. she was glad she found us, and that she was surely going to be back. <laughs> Michelle, who needs Charlotte when you have me? Michelle, that's so true. Maybe it was maybe Michelle was Charlotte in disguise. <laughs> maybe. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, here we go. Here you read it. Oh no. Well, I've already looked at that. Oh, here I'll do another one. Ready? <laughs> okay. How sands in it? How sands in it? How? How sands in it? <laughs> house, house, house in, hmm. how sands in it? <laughs> house and Senate. House and Senate. Yes. Oh, All right. thank God. you did it. Oh. You got one. I can't believe it. Look, somebody else got it, I think. Charlotte dated a serial killer. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Charlotte didn't come back. Yeah. But she really, I think she really wanted to. Maybe she'll she be back She just next probably week. forgot. It's okay. Missed last week and Charlotte. <laughs> it was funny. House and Senate. RMJ. You got it. All right. Oh, no. Did I beat Gail? How sad it is. <laughs> House and Senate. That's what it House and Senate. That's what it sound, sounded like. Yes. I it? don't see Gail. Gail. Gail probably left us too. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe she's on a date with a new guy. <laughs> I hope so. That's funny. Uh. <sighs> guys, talk to each other in the comments. A lot of you guys, um, Carrie, um, do you have a channel? Do you have a, a YouTube channel? Talk to each other. Subscribe to each other. Our friend Michelle's in the comments. Subscribe we got to get Michelle to 1,000. I know. Got to get Michelle to 1,000. Mm -hmm. She's close. She's getting there. <laughs> She's getting there. I'm telling you. It's going to happen any day now. Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right. What? How many points Carrie are Carrie does not have a, a channel. Got it. I collect dust. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are getting 50 points for every correct answer. 50 points. That's a okay. lot. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Weaver rest ditto suspect. Weaver rest ditto suspect. Weaver rest, Weaver rest ditto sus, suspect, suspect. We've, we've arrested a suspect. <gasps> oh, you got it. Yes. All right. We're getting better at these. We, we're on a roll. <laughs> Where's the one that we just did? You got to keep the ones that we've done. Okay. Look, people got it. Gail, Gail, Gail Hill. Was she us. first? Yes. <laughs> Gail, you were right there on it. You were so good. Was it Gail that gave us the hot tip of just listening so, yeah so like if you've tuned in you just have to listen just shut your eyes don't look at it just <laughs> listen we deserve respect <laughs> you guys are good it was close pam's still with us pam are you going back to school what's what's your situation i think i think schools here are thinking about going back but then in the news today they were talking about like our somebody was suggesting that nobody goes back in Kentucky. I know. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do I don't about either. school. Hmm. It's, it's crazy. Crazy times we live in. I don't know. I've, I I remember having my kids be little enough to be in school. I, I don't know what, I mean, I don't know what I would do right now if I couldn't send my kids to school and I couldn't send them to daycare. Like, yeah. I don't know what people are doing. Uh, Pam says that they're going back to the classroom and it starts September 8th. <laughs> so, man, good luck. Good luck, Pam. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole says that this game hurts my brain. Me too. Click on the next one. Okay. Resell Hobo says they do these on TikTok too. Oh, for real? 
Yes, and every week I ask Megan, I'm like, what is it called? What do you have to look at? Look up on TikTok to do it. And it's like gibberish or something like that. Oh. That's what you search on okay. TikTok. And they do, a, it's a filter. And, you know, it's really cute. It, looks, might, it looks about like this. It looks like. We might not get to, <laughs> we might not get to look at TikTok long. Yeah. In the news, it sounds like we might not have TikTok much longer. Who knows if that's going to happen. Maybe we should start a TikTok channel before it gets, you know, um, taken off the air and we can just do gibberish the whole time. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, <laughs> Nancy says, do you guys think we'll get shut down again? I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me either way at this point. You know, in the beginning, I was just shocked by every, every decision that was made. I can remember being shocked that they shut down the NCAA tournament. And then I was shocked that baseball was canceled. And now I just don't feel like I'm shocked. No. At all. I mean, they're having these big gatherings with no people. Right. So bizarre. Yeah. Have you watched any baseball? And, and I think it really messes with people's heads, you know? Yeah. Have you watched any baseball? Not very much. I think that those cardboard cutouts that they have behind home plate <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> Do you know it costs? I, I have heard that it costs like a fortune to get your cardboard cutout back there. It's so like, great. I would pay for that. I would if I had the money. I'll buy you one. <laughs> we can. We we'll can, sell the dragon wear and get you a cardboard. We cutout. should buy a fat bird cardboard cutout. <laughs> yeah, we could take it off as an advertising expense. Yes, <laughs> that'd be great. Who knows, guys? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, what else do you have? Um. Let's see. We could do another one of these. You ready? <laughs> Vintage collectibles. That's really nice. This is the best night's sleep I get all week. Just from laughing at y'all makes my Aww. cheeks tired. That's so nice. We love all those comments. <laughs> okay. What do you have? Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm going to stump you this time. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. I almost said something terrible. <laughs> You as saying at work. You as saying at work. You as saying at work. You as you as saying at something at work. Surely it's not at work. <laughs> Don't you as saying at work. You as saying at work. It's so funny. <laughs> you guys need to play. It's just so funny to sit when you know the answer. To watch the other, I mean, to listen to the other person. Oh, somebody's got it. It's very it's entertaining. Gail. It's Gail. Oh my gosh, Gail. No kidding. How does she do that every single She's time? She's so good. US, USA Network. Yeah. A bunch of people it. got it. <laughs> Nesting Haven. Twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Gail. Gail, you are so good. I can't get over how good she is. Gail is a robot. Gail is a robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Gail. What do you do for a living? Like, what is your, what is your jam? What, what do you have going on? How are you so good at this game? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know what your. Gail said, I'm is. sitting out. Do some more. She's going to give everybody else a chance. That's great. <laughs> Let's do another one. Okay. You want me to do it? Yes. Oh, by the way, we're talking about uh, stuff closing down. I think, you know, somebody was talking to us about, I work at a bank and we, we can let like five or six people in at a time mm -hmm. and wait on them inside. But customers are pretty dissatisfied. They don't like, they want to come in, but then they don't want you to, they don't want you to ask all the questions that you have to ask them. And right. that, then some of them don't want to wear a mask. And then some of them, you know, some of them don't like to put their names down. You know, we try to keep up with it. So, I don't know. We may see businesses going back to the way it was just because people are complaining. Right. So I don't know. Right. That was just another thought. Gail says, I can't explain it. It <laughs> comes natural. Some people call me a wordsmith. You know what, Gail? I have, I have taught how wordsmith is great. I like that. I have, do you remember the show called Wordsmith? Mm -mm. Wasn't, there a, wasn't there a PBS show called Word, Wordsmith that we would watch in school? Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, I have talked to, about this before. I think it's like spelling. Mm. You are either a natural speller or you're not. It's kind of like a talent like singing or something. Are you a good speller? Yes. I'm a terrible speller. I am a really good speller. 
Interesting. Just tell me to spell something, but you won't know because you won't know if it's right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I believe that, Gail. Especially if I had to spell it out loud. Like, some words, to, to if I can write them, I can oftentimes spell them correctly. But if I'm just thinking about it, like, if somebody says out loud, hey, how do you spell whatever? I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Look it up. <laughs> Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hyper oaf aisle. Hyper oaf. Hyper oaf aisle. Hyper oaf aisle. Hyper hyper oaf aisle. High high profile. High profile. Yes. Laura, you got one. Yes. Yes. Other people got it too. Cindy got it and Greg got it. And then Grace, oh wait, it shifted. Uh Uh-oh. Grace, it helps if you only listen to the clue and not look at it. Yep. Michelle says, I'm a really good speller. I'm also a really good driver. Wow. Especially on the driveway. I'm an excellent driver. (laughs) Excellent driver. Dad lets me go slow on the driveway. (laughs) Can you believe it? I got like an actual reference. That's great. Like a quote reference. I'm impressed. Okay, here we go. You can you can be the good speller. I can be the movie quote person. Okay, that'll be great. Except I of uh, movies that I've not seen. <laughs> great. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, you you go again. Dowelistic excess. Dowelist excess. Dowel. Dowelist excess. Grace says seeing the visual throws me off. Yeah, I think yeah. That's, it's funny, and that, it's that's the point. I guess it's tricking your Dow- brain. You know, dowelist excess. Dow- dowelist, dowelist excess. Su- so is it something success? No. Ugh. <laughs> dowelist success. Dowelist excess. It's hard to even say. Dowelist excess. <laughs> is it Dallas, Texas? It is Dallas, Texas. I think Nesting Haven got that first. Nicole got it first. <laughs> Dallas, 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 Dallas. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Good job, everybody. Very good. Have we done enough of those? <laughs> I think we've done it. I think we've done enough. Okay. Okay. Let's that, do. That doesn't get old. That's really fun. We're gonna do one more. Nesting Haven says, "I figured one out finally." Holy moly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a heads up, but just because I think it's funny. Sandra finished her champagne, vodka, and cranberry next. Still celebrating. Yes. Did we miss out? What are you celebrating? Are you celebrating something special or are you just playing along here? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? We're going to do movies. Oh, no. Here, I'll give the clues to you. You guys guess too. You guys guess too. Good night if you guys are leaving. I know. I have to work too, Cindy. Yeah, we've got to get Laura to bed here in just a minute. (laughs) Oh, Nate. (laughs) Oh, Sandra, you're celebrating a new house. Congratulations. Nice. That's exciting. Oh, she bought a house. So everybody was paying attention but me. I bet you got a good... I missed it in the comments. I'm sorry. I bet you got a good rate during (laughs) this pandemic. Oh, my gosh. Our loan officers are so busy. Mm. Everybody wants... Everybody wants to buy a house I right bet. now. I bet. <laughs> Congratulations. That's exciting. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. These are movies. It's going to be good. Okay, you guys, give yourself 10 points for every movie you get. Yeah, you guess at home. Okay, here we go. I don't know that movie. <laughs> or that movie. I get so ready. This is the prequel to Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal. Yes, that's correct. This oh, is a musical. musical. This is a musical, and they have big this, and it's psh. hairspray. Yeah, I love hairspray. Oh, it's the llama movie. That's the Disney movie that I like. It's under- new group. It's so underrated. <laughs> oh, this is a also a Disney movie, and they're dogs, and they're spotted. Oh, that's my favorite. I said it last time. Well, say it. 101 Dalmatians. I'm dragging oh, it this out is so like, they can answer. This is like Kevin Costner or somebody in the 90s. Or and, somebody. <laughs> and they're like in the woods and there's a big dog that's this other word. You know. Dances with wolves. Yes. Was that Kevin Costner? It was. Yes. 
Laura. Dances with Wolves, they made fun of it because it was like really long. Some people thought, some people thought really boring. I can't believe that I got Kevin Costner. <laughs> that was great. Look, let's see who got what. Okay. Oh, that's good. Hannibal. Yes. <laughs> Nicole's giving herself 300 points. I don't blame you. I would too. I think you should. Hannibal. Hannibal. Hairspray. 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 Hats. Spray. Emperor's New Groove. Napoleon Dynamite. 101. What state are you in? They're not asking us. 101 Dalmatians. Hannibal. They're not talking to us. It's okay. I like it when people talk to each other. 101. 101. Yes. 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 I love 101 Dalmatians. You guys are all very smart. Hairspray. Speed. No. <laughs> Dances with wolves. Yes. <laughs> North Carolina. Field of Dreams. No. no. 101. Yes. Wolf. Yes. <laughs> I'm almost obsessed with Kevin Costner Dances with Wolves. He's couldn't, pretty great. Couldn't type fast enough. And they show his bare bootay in that movie. In Dances with Wolves? I don't know. I have, it's been a while since I've seen that. Speed is a fantastic remember. movie. Have you seen Speed? <laughs> yeah. It's a good movie. I, do you, you like Keanu Reeves or whatever. Is yeah. he in that movie? I think so. Right? Yeah, I think he's kind of dorky. Oh, he's such a nice guy. <laughs> like in real life. Do you know him? No, but I've read like articles and stories about I mean, him. This is fascinating. He's like you really talked about this last week with the celebrity, you know, encounter. Well, I mean, I don't know him, but they people say that he's like a really good guy and he is like super down to earth. Okay, I take it back. Okay. Have you seen The Lake House? Yeah. Oh, I love The Lake House. Oh my gosh. So weird. <laughs> Okay, let's do one more of that, and then we'll say goodbye to our okay. friends. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. These are fun. I get a kick out of this. Somebody said they haven't got any answers right yet. This is the president, and he got shot in a car. Kennedy. Well, JFK. Yes, I'll accept it. <laughs> I don't know that. Okay, this is Michelle Pfeiffer, and she's really smoking, and she's in a, a leather suit, except it's pleather, and it's... And she's the cat woman. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I thought this, you meant like Fabulous Baker Boys because she was really this movie on that. is like from the '90s and it's filmed like this and they're running through the woods <laughs> and it's the first movie that was Blair like, Witch Project. Yes, I don't know that movie or that movie or that movie or that movie. Oh come on. Okay, <laughs> this is the guy and he's he's he looks like this and he's got eyeballs on his hands and it's kind of creepy. I, I don't know. Does he do this? Yeah, he, he holds his hands up to see. Oh, no. I don't have any idea. Oh, no. Nikki, do you know what it is? Yeah, Pan's Labyrinth. That's oh, correct. Gosh. It was Pan's Labyrinth. Do the next one. There wasn't another one. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, JFK. Yes. I'll accept Kennedy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Kennedy, Kennedy, Catwoman. Yes. Greece. No. She, yeah, she was in Grease too. Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't think I've ever seen Grease Have too. you seen The Fabulous Baker Boys? No. Oh, she's good in that. She's a lounge singer in that one. Some of these movies that I didn't know were like Spy Kids and Blow. I've never seen Blow. Anyway. Spy Kids is great. Catwoman, yes. Yes, Who's yes, Who's Spy yes. Kids? I don't know. Catwoman. Car Woman. I'll accept it. <laughs> sure okay. Blair Witch, yes. Platoon, no. Blair Witch, yes, yes, yes. I'll accept Blair. Um, Vinny. yes. Catwoman, yes. I know she skipped around, and I just saw it ahead of time. Vintage Roots Collection, <laughs> Hands Labyrinth, yes. Saw, no. Ace Ventura, no. Ooh, Sorry. I agree. <laughs> Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, no. <sighs> Blair Witch. No clue. That's okay. Birdman. That was Birdman. That was, what is that guy's name? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. That was a good movie. My Last Dream. <laughs> you lost me at Pan's Labyrinth. That's okay. <laughs> what is that game called? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's Heads Up. It's an app. And it's Heads Up. It's really fun. It's great. Grease 2 was great. You know, I used to work with a bunch of people at AQS where we worked together who loved Grease 2. But I never saw it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Vinny. Never seen Grease. Really? Vinny. You should drink. Interesting. 
Blow sounds like a porno. I agree. <laughs> Dina, it's okay. I usually don't know anything. You gotta go. <laughs> bye bye, beautiful people. Goodbye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna have to go because Laura has to get to bed because she has to work in the morning. But then I'm on vacation. Yay, you have a week of vacation coming up. Yeah, we're taking I'm taking Megan back to school. Oh. Back to college. And my other daughter lives up there, so we're going to visit her. Hey, that would be good. And hang out. And we're going to go thrifting, probably, in Lexington. That would be fun. So maybe I can take video, and then you can work your magic. And wow, you're going to video? <laughs> maybe. That's exciting. I can't wait. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, be sure to give us a like, guys, if you haven't already. We really appreciate the likes. Um, leave us a comment after this video posts if you want. If you don't want, that's okay too. <laughs> we understand. You guys got things to do, right? Yeah, that's right. If you ever see anything you like, always don't always feel free to send us an email. And if you want anything tonight, make sure you send us an email with your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email, and we will get you invoiced on Sunday evening. Yeah, I had an idea. Why don't they put in the comments what they might like to see in the next Fat Bird 5? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so after Anything this, off, of, off of a video or... Yeah, so after we sign off in this video post, you can, you know, let us know what kind of things you want us to sell. Yep, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, guys, so be sure to stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Good night, everybody.